So today, DJI have launched a new firmware update for the Mavic Air 2 and the DJI Air 2S. And this is all related to optimizing flight safety. Now, I think this is a really, really major update potentially, because pretty much since I got my Air 2S, for example, I have never really been getting the performance that I was expecting and what I paid for. Now, there has been a few problems with guarding this drone that I have suffered personally and one of the major ones has actually been to do with the telemetry. Basically from the start the telemetry on this has not been showing correctly so it's been showing a lot lower sometimes even showing as a negative when I am on completely flat ground. That of course is a major problem because you might without meaning to break your local laws and regulations. If the drone is showing that the it's flying lower than what it actually is, you could easily break that upper ceiling. Um, here in the UK, that's 120 meters or 400 feet quite easily. And you wouldn't even know about it. Of course, that could cause some serious implications. Not to mention, I have had a few instances where my connection has been absolutely terrible. This is supposed to have OcuSync 3.0. And so far, I just haven't seen the benefit of that to the point where on this video that I'm showing you now I was flying and I got a disconnection only a couple of meters away from where I was absolutely no interference open and open field not sure why it did it but it did which of course forced the drone to return home but because I was within that set distance of the drone instead of actually flying anywhere to a home point it decided to auto descend of course the problem here is it was <laughs> hovering over a river and it was about to descend straight into some water absolute nightmare Thankfully, the connection came back and I was able to cancel that before it actually landed in the water, but still a very close shave. Not to mention, I've also had problems with this drone when it comes to the signal and video feed. I have had a really, really poor sort of video feed from this um, with a lot of lag and a lot of stutter. So, you know, that's really not impressive for a drone that costs as much as what this one does. And of course, promises us extra antennas and OcuSync 3.0. Now, this update that we've had today, this firmware update, is version 02042060. And hopefully, you know, some of these safety features, or, well, hopefully some of the features that I've spoken about in this video will actually be um, improved and updated. Now... I have just spoken to DJI on this very simply because I've not actually received this update yet. However, it is coming out. So the photos I'm using in this video have been supplied to me by a fan of the channel. So thank you very much for that. So these are being rolled out sequentially, I believe, by the aircraft serial number. So at some point you will get it. And if you have got it already, I'm very interested to hear what your performance is if you have been out and flown this update yet. Now, don't get me wrong. All the features I've said in this video that I've had a problem with, not everybody has actually seen, you know. Quite a lot of you users over in the States have reported no problems whatsoever. But of course, you do have a bit of an advantage because in FCC areas such as the US, you actually do get a lot more broadcasting power from this drone. So any sort of connection issues are likely to be hidden by that quite frankly, uh, whereas here in the UK, we are working under CE rules and our connection is not as strong as what yours is. So yeah, hopefully this will come to me soon and I can get out and test it. Like I say, if you've already managed to successfully install this update and you've been out for a flight, please do let me know your findings. And of course, as soon as I get it, I will be out and I will be testing it for myself. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching and see you again soon.